Hey everyone, Merrick here, along with Frank, checking out our lovely sub Shit Happens. Warning, 30 seconds oh. of oxygen remaining. And we are about to suffocate. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, thank you, computer man. So, unfortunately, I was unable to find our sea moth after its harrowing sacrifice to keep us from dehydrating. And in the process, I put us in danger of dehydrating again. On well, the process of my, my search. So, we're going to have to build another sea moth. And that's going to be fun. I mean, the other alternative is I could build a sea glide and, and, and run around for a while off camera searching for it again. But I think going up here and, and finding out what we have to do to build a new sea moth in the new patch while well, Frank is very, very active on his serenades today, would be a much better use of our time. Oh, I don't like that sound at all. Developers. Developers, we don't want that. Three titanium, a power cell, two glass and copper. Okay, let's get off this thing. Okay, that was terrible, and I apologize because we're going to have to go back and, and do that again. I just had a thought. I wonder if I can build hatches onto the Cyclops itself. Like if I wanted to put a window or a hatch in. I wonder if I could do that. Cause that would be kind of cool. Technically all this is, from a from programming standpoint, is it's a mobile base. Okay, so I need two glass. Do I have two glass? I have quartz and one glass. So now I have two glass. Yes, I know, I'm dehydrating. But first I must build this. Um, sea moth, sea moth, sea moth. Uh, copper I've got. Power cell is the only thing I need other than titanium. So, copper. Alright, so what do we need for a power cell? I think I've got everything. That's battery. Power cell, power cell. Mm, not there. Not there. Ah, power cell. Fantastic. There we go. Alright, what do you say, Blue Prince Man? Just three titanium. One, two, three. Okay. Let's go see what it's like to make things now. Hey, Frank? Frank, you need to keep your singing down, buddy. You, you were fun to hang out with for a little while, but if, if you're just going to hover around us and, and blast your butt horn in there forever, we may be having a bit of a problem. Alright. That's, that's still horrible, but let's see what it looks like when we build with that. Build me a sea moth! Really? You little annoying drone shits don't do anything? That's even worse. That's the worst sound ever and you should at least fly around and build the thing. Ah, God, that was awful. Alright, Seamoth. See that little blinky dot over there? Take us there, buddy. If we run into our other Seamoth, I'll, I'll have to remember where it is and come back and get it. But I made a little pinger in my efforts to find the sea moth and gather materials so now if I ever need to get back to a place I can plop this bad boy down and it will start putting out the lovely little pinging symbol and we can get back here. And This is what I was hoping for some of these awesome dudes to make me some water. Hey None of that trying to juke me. Ooh, we got some metal too. I'll take the metal. We need more of that for our kick-ass sea base that we're building that Frank is going to be a terrible neighbor to have with. Come on, Frank. Don't be that guy. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to deal with those assholes. Uh, I don't need copper. We've got plenty of it, and until I run out, I'll pretend it's worthless. Okay, so we need more 
little bladder fish guys. Some magnesium. I'll pick or quartz. I'll pick that up. Hmm. Bladderfish. Bladderfish. They're not called bladderfish, though, are they? They are air sacs. Okay. So, barring finding any more air sacs, we need some chunks of coral. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Oh, there's some quartz. I don't know if I picked it up. Yes, I know. I'm working on it. We'll get in the sea moth and head on home to make some water. Okay. No more air sacs. Got it. Gonna bounce off the bottom and blame my dehydration for that. Alright, we're gonna head back, get some water in us, try not to die from it. I don't know if dehydration just kills you instantly, I've never been dehydrated in this game. So when we get aboard, we may try it out and see what happens. Maybe it'll be beautiful explosions of blood. Maybe it'll just hurt us. Hard to say. I do love that I can basically just ram myself into the ship's zone and it will park us. I think that's how it should be in real life. I think we should just be able to just like flail our way into a parking position. Okay, so now I've made some bleach. And I've got plenty of filtered water. We're gonna make a little bit more filtered water. Or in this case, disinfected water. Yeah. And then we're going to consider the consequences of moving. Because like I said, if he's going to sit here and do this the whole time, I don't really want to listen to him. Where is he? Anybody see him? Does any of my crew see the noisy dude? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Ramming speed! Boop! <laughs> it just... We didn't even hit him, we just boop him. How do you like it? It's really annoying, isn't it? Just coming over here and blasting everybody. Definitely not invited to my pool party. So apparently we have really, really limited fish range on here. Lots and lots of snapping in. But that's really annoying. That he's just gonna sit there. Okay, 1%. Let's see what happens. Did I move how I got into this base? I think I may have. I think I removed it. Oh! Yeah, so just bad things happen when you get dehydrated. Don't get dehydrated, kids. Okay. So I decided that the best course of action would be to remove the door to get into my base. That's okay, because we're going to be moving bases. I'm not going to listen to this all day. There's Frank and his contemporary rock and roll. And I don't appreciate it, Frank. It really lowered the home value here. So we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to find a new location right now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Before I do that, well, before I suffocate... I'm going to take the base apart 
said, as much as it breaks my heart, I think it's necessary. Because I don't want to listen to this all day. Okay, so we'll get the builder tool out. We will hold E on all these things. Ah, oh, that's so cool. It's so satisfying. Oh, we got a little fish stuck over here. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna eat ya. So I can't just swim around and hold E. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen oh. remaining. Okay, we gotta go refill our oxygen. Maybe we'll cook this guy up and eat him while we're waiting. I love the way the Cyclops look at night. Oh, a little, little bit of a glitch action there. All right. And we're gonna cook that, buddy. Yeah. Cause that's what science is about: cooking as many spade fish as you can, as well as any other fish, really. If I can get it in here and I can cook it, I'm gonna try to eat it. Cause I'm a scientist. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And science says I have to eat this fish thing. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct that. Uh oh. Okay. I, can't. I was gonna say, uh oh. Deconstructing the base first really upset that, but I can still deconstruct it. Tearing it down. No more of this crap. You happy now, Frank? You drove me away. We're no longer neighbors. That's it. I've had enough of you. I was gonna say, did he stop singing just because I said I was leaving? Because I would have said that a long time ago. All right, and away we go. Oh, I am gonna miss these cool little formations that we had here. Thanks, Frank, you jerk. But who knows, maybe we'll find something cooler, and better. Hopefully swimming with fish, because we do need fish. What are you doing anyways? You're just here, just not doing much. Ah. Oh, found the bottom. Look, she's new, I'm still getting used to her. Getting used to her drag. Ooh, I like this little canyon going we got going on over here. There's some fish. I like that rock striation. Alright. Ooh, we've got a cave. Ooh. Let's go explore the cave. I don't want you. You stay in the inventory. Nobody wants to look at you. Oh. Hello. Are we friends? Can I touch you? You're pretty. Ah! Holy crap! Uh, okay. No? That guy's terrifying. Let's, let's get out of here. This is a rough part of, neighbor, of, part of the neighborhood. This is terrifying. Run away! Okay, well, we're not wanted there. Ooh. Hey, waterfish, come here. I'm gonna just start driving by like I'm at some sort of. Hey! Not you. Nobody wants to play with you. I want this fish that's used for water. Where did he go? Well, there's some salt. I'll take the salt. Because food is starting to become a concern along with water. Come here, hoverfish. Saying my inventory's full? Oh, it is. Hmm. You win this round, hoverfish. Ooh. Dodged his ass. 
All right. Let's go pack some of this crap away. Man, I forgot how much room these lockers hold. It's fantastic. Get a little cooking done. All right, back on the road. We, we... Ah, I, I love the underwater world this place creates. It's, just, it's so freaking cool to look at. Driving through the the kelp in this giant submarine just feels amazing. I can't wait until they have something like Oculus Rift support or one of the new VRs. It will be fantastic. Okay, we found another red and green area, so I think this will be a good place to make camp. We got plenty of fish around. Got a nice location. Yeah. Do we hear anything? Nope. Fantastic. No more serenading via Frank. Okay, so we got a foundation. I'm gonna do another foundation right on its level here. Can I put it on the level? Oh, I might not be able to actually get this to line up until I constructed one of them. Let's go grab some supplies and break ground on a new base. And I'll catch up off camera and, and make sure that this new new base has the same amount, if not more, of the things that the old base had. But I couldn't sit there and listen to Frank singing all day long. It was just going to drive me insane. Damn kids and the rock and roll. I claimed this lawn, now get off it. Alright, there we go. So we got a platform. And we got another foundation. So I can snap this in place in relation to that. So we're going to put you there. Got a nice little Really? Is he is he just gonna follow us? Is there a way to kill those guys? That's right. I'm thinking about killing Frank. If he's just gonna follow my my uh, ship around, I can't have that. I can't have Frank just creeping around, just being like, "Hey, you you went away, buddy. Where'd you go? Thought we were friends." I got plenty of titanium. Let's put our power generator right over here. Oh, it's just... The fact that I can't make it straight just really bothers me. Warning. Okay, there we go. Seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, let's get back up in our Cyclops buddy here. And grab some more materials and some glass. So we can put a hatch on that thing. All right. Cook up our spade fish. Fantastic. Give me. We're gonna take two glass if we can. Nope, we can't. All right. We're gonna bring our sea moth down there so that we can have an emergency air supply on the quick and some lighting so we need lighting all right we're gonna put our entrance right there fantastic so we know how to do multi-tiers. We saw that on our last base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an X corridor there. Which will give us the ability to tube out in a bunch of different directions. 
and then we can start making things like fabricators and fragment analyzers and you know pop in a science room or two so I think that we'll build out straight out here into this gulf and make an observation room out here and we'll have a science room over here on this hill so our science room will probably be right there and a construction Warning. room on this hill remaining. yeah that sounds good let's get inside there we go so we'll make another corridor there Boop. beautiful okay so I don't have much titanium left do I have enough for con a constructor or a fabricator? I do. So this is going to be our fabrication tunnel. We'll probably move this in the future, but just having the fabricator down here means there's less that we have to do. For example, now I can get some more titanium. And I can see if I can build a curvy bit straight through here. And if I can tunnel into the the dirt that will be amazing considering I don't have the terraforming rifle which I really want to make oh it just it just pulls the dirt away I do want to to make a terraforming rifle and bury part of our base because I think that would look really cool but there we go we've got our, our curve sort of started Alright, we've got a little food in our stomach. So this is going to be our... What did I say this was? Was this one going to be our fabrication center? And we're going to have an observation center out there. Put our fabricator over here, though. Hmm. Do, 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 do. This can be our storage section. How about that? Yeah. So this is where we're going to put our storage. This is going to loop out as well and probably connect back around in a big arch to here eventually. That's what I'd really like. I'd like to have just like a massive sea base that comes in, in a big circle around with the entrance in the middle of the circle. And then an observation platform out, out in this direction. All right, well, we've broken ground on our second base. We have a stalker named Frank who's just going to annoy the hell out of us and I've got to figure out how to get rid of him. But I think it's a good start on on Sea Base 2 with Seamoth 2 and Frank number 1 and me driving just horribly. Well, let's get ourselves docked in here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really happy that we moved and I'm happy with the territory that we have in order to, or to, to make our second base in. We've drained a lot of power, though. Fortunately, that'll be refilled in the next episode automatically. If you did enjoy this video, consider leaving a like. It helps me out a ton. lets me know that you're enjoying this content. If you have any you know, screenshots you'd love to share of your base, I'd love to see them. If you have any tips, advice, or comments, or any solutions on how to get rid of Frank outside of killing, or, or even if we can kill him, it could be interesting to see what he does, throw that in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, and you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out to you. All that being said, I'll see you next time.